All right then, so in this video, I want to talk about parent selectors, and this is gonna help us create variations of classes to add effects like hover, and other pseudo selectors as well, like nth child, or active, or visited, or last child. So for example, we have all of these different classes for text color and background color, but we might also want to give something a different background color or text color when they hover over something. So if we take a look in our index file, if you give something a class currently of text hyphen primary, it means just make the text color primary all the time. But what would be nice if is we had something like test or rather, sorry, text hyphen hover hyphen and then whatever color you want it to be on hover. So it could be purple, right? So it's gonna be primary when we see it on the page, but if we hover over the text, then it's gonna be a purple color. So I want to use the basically the, the hover pseudo selector to create a class for this right here. So that when you hover over something, it gives it that color. So how do we do this? Well, first of all, let's generate the class for it inside this loop, inside the colors file. So I could say text hyphen hover and then hyphen whatever, oops, we need to spell this correctly, hover, whatever the key is. So hash and then curly braces, dollar sign, key. So that could be primary, secondary, purple, whatever. And then inside this selector, we want to give it some kind of color, right? But we can't just say, well, the color is gonna be red or whatever. Let's say the value like so. So if it was text hyphen hover hyphen purple for the key, then the color would be that purple value associated with that key. However, if we do this, it's really no different from this selector right here because we're not including the hover effect right now. We're just saying, okay, color it this color. So what we want to do instead is make it so it's hover like that, right? Now you can do it this way if you want to. If I save this, and if I come over to this and search for hover, then we can see we get those selectors and that's absolutely fine, right? However, what I'd like to do is show you the parent selector instead, which looks like this. I'm gonna cut that and then we use the ampersand to reference the parent and then a colon and then whatever pseudo selector. So you can see all of these right here, yeah? So what I'm gonna do is say the hover effect like so. And now I'm just gonna paste this in. So all it does is take this selector and then it adds on the hover pseudo element to it. And this is good because if we have several things we want to target, we can do inside this one selector. So I could come down here and say, and, and something like, you know, last child, and I could style this differently. And then I could add another one on. I could say, and nth child, and then just pass in something like two and then style this as well. And we're doing this all inside one selector instead of rewriting it for every different pseudo class right here. So that's the benefit of it. So now we're generating some kind of hover class for each text color right here. Now I wanna do basically the same thing for our light and dark variations using this parent selector. So let me come down here and where we have this light variation, let's paste it in. So we'll paste it in right here. And this time we need to say it's going to be the light variation and also the strength. So hash curly braces and then I, which is gonna be one to nine. And again, this time we need to mix it with white. So what I'm gonna do is just copy this from my repo, paste it in right here. So we're saying the color is mixed with white and it's the value and I times 10. So basically the same thing as we did right here. All right. so. Now, let me copy that again and do it for the dark variation down here. And I'm gonna change this to dark and we need to change this to black. So it mixes it with black instead of white. And now we can use these classes inside our HTML. So let me just scroll down here to the bottom of these colors and I'm gonna paste this in, a couple of BR tags and then an anchor tag with these classes. So text hyphen primary, meaning when we first see this text on a page, it's gonna be that primary color and then text hyphen hover hyphen orange hyphen light hyphen one. So that is a light variation of the orange when we hover and that should be the color when we hover over this text. So if I save that, then we should be able to see this in the browser. Let me scoot this over, hover me. And we can see now it goes that orange color when we hover over it. Awesome. So if you want to see all these classes, you can do go to index CSS 
and you're going to see all of these different hover variations as well and like i said before this is now getting very big the css style sheet so in the future i am going to show you how to purge a lot of these from your production style sheet so don't worry too much about this for now